of all, another movie that I have absolutely no interest in is Unsorted. But guess what? The crit, you know, this is basically Rambo 5 Peppermint 2. Okay? I just don't understand why critics, you know, when it comes to action movies, you know, they'll praise Marvel over and over and over again. But when it comes to everyone else, they are horrible movies. Okay? I just don't get this. So the Uncharted movie is a movie that's coming out, you know, very soon. And also is getting skins in Fortnite, of course. You know, you know, basically Fortnite, can't, you know, of course, anything that might become popular, Fortnite's going to, of course, cast in on. But the critics are complaining that it's an indie head. Here's one. Indie had a Jones ripoff. Okay. Well, I guess, you know... The, they're not the first person to say that. Oh, remember the sound, the 90s kids, though? Where he said on the entire Uncharted series is nothing but a ripoff of Indiana Jones? Well, yeah. So, the movie... Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the movie overperforms because, of course, the fandom mass is going to support it because it's going to be one of the battles <laughs> for not, you know, for movies and film. Okay, you know, because of course they only, of course, you know, they haven't had a movie that they're gonna, they haven't had to defend in like a couple of months, so, you know, here, but Unsorted is a movie that I don't really want to watch, I don't plan, I might watch it on TV, but I don't really care about this movie, I have no interest in it, first of all, it's a Sony IP, second of all, of all the movie just looks like a generic action movie, if I want to watch a movie like Indiana Jones, I'll just watch Indiana Jones, okay? And this is not the first adaptation of a movie, of a game that's like Indiana Jones. There's those, those two made up movies that came out a long time ago. And then, of course, they made another one a couple years back that nobody liked, right? And they're making a sequel to that that they um, had, you know, might as well be canceled at that point. But the critics is the, this is why people don't like the wrong team of establishment, Okay. The volunteers' establishment will try to twist the narrative and force P and force, you know, oh, the movie's not political enough. Zero out of ten. And that's the problem with the volunteers. This is why I don't trust when I say, oh, yeah, the movie has a 10% of want bills, but you have it, but the critics are saying, it's, it's too sexist. It's too racist. Or, you know, blah, blah, blah. Not even judging the story. Not even judging the plot of the movie. Oh, no, no. Don't worry about being racist towards Hispanics, like in Peppermint, okay? Don't more worry about racist stereotypes than actually properly reviewing a movie, okay? And people still say, oh my god, the critics don't like this movie. Let's not watch this movie, okay? Uh, you know, of course, the IMV score is very similar to the critics score. That can see you won't watch the movie. I can see why. But, again, it's the same thing with the critics hating action movies. Okay, Midway, Godzilla, okay, both movies did far better on Blu-ray than Riddle Woman, yep, a movie that the critics endlessly praised, or Booksmart, a movie that critics endlessly cra- praised as one of the best movies of the year, but more people bought Midway on Blu-ray, more people bought Godzilla King of the Monsters on Blu-ray, okay, the critics can't win, okay, Nobody gives a shit about what they think anymore, okay? Yes, you'll be people who go to a foreign Rotten Tomatoes score. Oh, it has a 6% on Rotten Tomatoes. This movie must be complete garbage, okay? We all know the critics are politically motivated, okay? Look at the Razzies of 2020. Me, I think, yeah, 2020 Razzies, okay? That entire show was politically motivated. There was one movie that everybody universally hated... But of course, they refuse to nominate for, of course, any Razzie scores, be any Razzies, be any Razzies, because of course, the Wanted was a Salesman called that movie a masterpiece. And even nominated for like best foreign movie. You know what movie I'm talking about. I'm not gonna utter its name, but you know what movie I'm talking about. But this is just absolutely ridiculous at this point, Wanted was a Salesman. When will they won? Of course, they're never gonna won. They'll give Spider-Man a perfect scores, but then of course they'll give Snacks Nights as this week a lower score than Captain Marvel, a movie that really nobody liked. Okay, they'll give they, they I, I haven't seen Uncharted, and I don't plan on seeing the movie. Okay, they'll complain 
that there's too much action in Uncharted. There's not enough smooth scene. There's not enough, you know, you know, political cool stuff. And of course, the political stuff has to be for left wing politics. No right wing politics in a movie, or else your movie is a complete racist pile of turds like Rambo 5 and like Peppermint. Okay? Yeah. Okay? So, if you want to join the Phantom Mets and watch this movie, you can. Okay? But this is getting ridiculous at this point. Okay? Ridiculous at this point. Okay? I have proven time and time again that these movies that the critics endlessly praise don't get remembered. And people don't watch them. Goodbye.